This video has been inspired by this fake Funko Pop Stan Lee. Something that should be authentic, but is Dynamite! How's it going, all you guys and girls in the Illumination? Time to jump aboard the Loom Train. It's me, it's me, it's JJD, JJ Double J. The Illuminator here, also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames. But we won't get into that right now. I started thinking today, somebody was talking about homemade wine and it made me think about a co-worker that I used to work with who has uh, since retired and uh, has since passed on. And his, uh, he was an old Italian guy by the name of Louis. Nice guy. Uh, if, if you got to know him, he was a nice guy at heart. But he had a lot of funny ways and uh, probably not everybody's cup of tea. But he used to take a gallon of homemade wine with him to the Federal Hill section of Providence, Rhode Island. Very thickly Italian section, and he was very thickly Italian. He was the oldest of eight kids, um, and at the time that he passed away, he was about 65 years old. He looked a lot older, he led a hard life. Um, but at some point, 50s, into the, his 50s and, and 60s, early 60s, he would go to this restaurant, and he would bring this gallon of homemade wine into the restaurant and he would tell them that he wanted to eat there but he was going to have to drink his own wine <laughs> because number one I hate to say it but number one he was uh, cheap like you wouldn't believe I mean he could squeeze a penny until Lincoln pooped really honestly but in his mind if he's going and spending money on food he wasn't going to have to spend money on drink also and a lot of people knew him from being one of the, the old timers and from the old school, so to speak. But he would bring his own wine into the restaurants. And he knew the restaurants that would let him do it most of the time. But if they didn't let him do it, he would leave. And he wouldn't go back for a long, long time. But one time he was in the restaurant. He was very, he dressed like, you looked at him, you thought you were in Italy. Like around 1900. He would wear this black cape and he'd wear this black, like fedora. And he had the gray mustache, you know, twirled on each side. No, no other facial hair other than the mustache. Gray hair, gray mustache. One time he was getting up to leave. That's <laughs> the funniest. He was getting up to leave. And these kids, teenagers, at one of the table told him, See you later, Batman. <laughs> he was highly insulted until when he told the story at work, people said, Well, if you were wearing that cape, they probably said Batman because of the cape. Very, very funny. You know, he, he had his ways, like I said, but um, he was one of the people that taught me a lot And uh, when it comes to being a janitor and everything like I am. But, um, you know, you kind of miss the people that are there when you start. And here we are almost 20 years later since I started. And, uh, you know, even though I'm not old and gray, so to speak, I, uh, I'm one of the, the people who have been there the longest now. So it's, it's funny how things work out this way. But I just thought you'd get a kick out of that story. I love you all. Take care. Have a great rest of the day. Be good to each other. Live strong. Be the miracle. Keep the faith. This is the Illuminator. And I'll be back. Some more. No.